Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. I want everybody to be sensitive. We have an heritage of success in Christ Jesus. Heritage of what? We are programmed to succeed. Except you are not following the path. We are programmed. So let's read the Bible, Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 27. I want us to read it together. Matthew 7. Studio, can you quickly give it to me? Matthew is one of the most important aspects of the New Testament. Matthew 7, 24 to 27. We are waiting, media. The Bible says, okay, let me read from here. Okay, let's read together. Therefore, whosoever heareth these things, saying of man, and dwell them, get them unto a wise man, which built his house on a rock. And who is that rock? Jesus. Shall we read further? Verse 26. The rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not. For it was funded upon the wrong. What happened to the, to, the, to the house? And the rain descended. Can we go back to, okay, we are still there. Which, is it verse 26, 27? 25. Let's go back to 25 there. To 25, the Bible says, and the rain. Please know that the rain did not fall. It descended. It descended. It came heavily. If it fall, it's something. But this time around, it came so heavily. I will tell you the meaning of that. Let's go. And flood came. It didn't knock. It just came suddenly. Flood will come. Either we like it or not. And what, what happened? And the winds. Please note it's winds. Wind does, wind does supposed not to have plural. It's not a grammatical blunder. I will tell you the meaning. Winds blew. And what happened? And beat. Beat upon the house. And it fell not. Why? Not because they went to Unilag, not because they went to Covenant University, not because they went to Harvard, not because they are married to pastor's daughter, but because it was funded. Not because that girl was from the choir, but because what? Not because the lady was very beautiful, the guy was handsome, but because of what? It was funded upon what? A rock. 27 now. Let's go to 20, 26. 26. And everyone that heareth this saying of man and doeth them not shall be likened unto a foolish man which built his house upon the sand. Aha, uh -huh. 27. What happened again? And the rain descended, and the flood came, and the wind blew, and beat upon the house, and it fell. And what happened? And great. Because when the house fall, it will fall on the head of the people involved, it falls on their career. It falls on their children. That's why the falling is great. It falls on their future. It falls on their destiny. It falls on their vision. It falls on their everything. It falls on them. A woman, about two or, two or three months ago, when the, within, when the house fell on her, she traveled from Lagos to Abiokuta barefooted. Am I, am, I, am I saying the truth? She just trick. She was just going. When her house, her married fair, she was just, she just trek. We had to go and arrest, somebody just airport to arrest her in Abiyokuta and we took her to a psychiatric hospital. Somebody that was not mad yesterday and right today, she's mad. Great was the fall. Why? It was not funded upon the rock. I want to open your eyes today. Today will be very brief. We are closing by six. We are now going to focus it. We are going to demonstrate it. We are going to bring a lot of instruments. You are going to see cement next month. Block, cement. You are going to see fridge and micro, microwave oven. Everything next month. You, are going to, you don't miss it for anything. We are going to do it together. Everybody, it will be so practical. It's a practical class. Everybody will be involved. Please help me bring everybody you know. Only one thing, build on the rock. I'm going to be explaining the rock more when we get there next month. The rock. The rock. The rock. In the name that is above every other name, your money will be the best. Yeah. Lord, grant all the utterance. Yeah. Speak to your people. Yeah. The name of the Lord be glorified. In the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, let me quickly tell you four types of marriage. Please sit down there. God bless you. People watching online, the hand of the Lord will be upon you. It shall be well with your soul. Four types of marriages. Number one, I think we have the, do we have the slide? Aha. Number one kind of marriages I told us. Number one, marry that hit the rock. Marry that hit the rock. Number two, rocky marriages. Number one is what? Marry that hit the rock. Number two is what? Rocky marriages. Marry that hit the rock is the one that crashed, the one they divorced, they separated. The married that is rocky. They are not, they didn't divorce, but they are not having peace. Peace. Marriage of, hmm, 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 hmm. I was talking to a woman. She was recommended to come and see us from, uh, from Lassut. And she came. They did all the tests. They said something was moving in her body. Something was moving all around her body. And uh, when they tried to check anything, they said, okay, maybe it's counseling that she needed. So she came to our office. As we were talking, I was trying to fathom what was really wrong with her. Suddenly I asked her, I said, ah, how is your husband? Oh, she jumped up. The hysteria was so big. Don't mention that man. Don't mention that man. Don't mention that man. Rocky marriage. We call it traumatic marriage. We call it problematic marriage. We call it plastic marriage. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Another one is marriage that is full of rocks. Then the last one is marriage is on the rock. Home on the rock. Home on the rock. I want everybody to pay attention now. Teenagers, pay attention. If you are not paying attention, I will tell you, I will tell you to stand up. Are you guys hearing me? Aha, I can't last. Are you confident? Pay attention. Aha. Four type of marriages. Marry that heal the rock. Rocky marriages. Marriages full of rocks. Marriages on the rock. Which one do you want God to give unto you? Unfortunately, it's not God that will give it unto you. It's you that will choose where you want to build. The Bible said there was a foolish man and there was a wise man. They both chose where to build their own house. Houses. One chose to build on the rock and rain fell. I mean, rain descended. Wind blew. Flood came. Everything. The same thing that happened to the house of the foolish man happened to the house of the wise man. But two different outcomes. Because of where they built it. Now, the first thing that will happen, rain will descend. Rain will fall. That the three things that will happen to every marriage. Any marriage that you know, three things will happen to them. Rain will fall. According to Matthew 7, 27 that we read, the Bible says, and rain descended and flood came, and the wind blew. Number one thing that will, that will happen is rain will fall. Somebody say rain will fall. What is rain? Blessing. Blessing of God. We descend down upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Holy Spirit. I say blessing, we descend down upon you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Immediately you get married. Blessing will come. You will get a better job. In our church. Maybe we didn't want to put you in position before. Now that you are married. We put you in position. We say you are a deacon. You are a deaconess. We promote you. At work. The blessing of the Lord. The Bible says. He that findeth a man. I and mean a wife. Findeth a. Then what we follow. And obtain a favor. There are some miracles you will never get until you get married. Those of you that are afraid of getting married. Don't be afraid. <laughs> that brother in the middle, are you hearing me? Uh, go and get married. The miracle is coming. Money is coming. Don't worry. Uh -huh. We too were afraid. Hey, how are we going to feed her? How are we going to do the whole oh, get married? A woman, a righteous woman is coming to the house with blessing. With what? That's the way God will do it. You won't even know. You will be saying, ah, this also is our salary, but how are we doing it? Am I correct? And the children will come. The money that is not enough for only you. Now the wife came, the children came, and still you are moving. Before you know, you'll be having projects. So, I think somebody will say it louder, amen, children. Promotion. Children! It's another rain that will come upon you. Before your wife gave back to one, before you finish the naming ceremony, another pregnancy has arrived. Hey, 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 hey. Baby is coming upon baby. Money. Car. You know what? If you don't have car, fornication, I mean, adultery is very difficult. 
adultery is very difficult. But when you have a nice car, you don't need to call them, they will call you. You don't need to call them, they will just drive between here and, uh, and Oregon and come back. Uh, are you going my way? Yes, I'm, I'm not going your way because your way is the way of hell. Mm, and they will, they will carry it. You don't need to. You don't need to. They don't have anywhere they're going to. And the book of, uh, the book of Proverbs chapter 7 really describes them. The Bible says they are on this road. They are everywhere. They cannot sit in one corner. They, are, uh, they sit at the street corner. That's what the Bible calls them. Proverbs 7. If you don't have a car, it becomes difficult. Because they won't ride a car with you. Though their papa never have, and have a, their papa never have a car, but they want to. They want a nice car, a nice car. So if you don't want to commit adultery before, just get a car first. Then you will know they will be the one that will be waving you. That's rain that descend. And if that thing is not founded upon the rock, it can finish. Another one is prosperity. Just become prosperous. Number two thing that will come flood. We test every money. What is flood? Storm. Storm. Financial struggle. Health challenges. Misunderstanding. Delay in childbirth. You are married two, three years. No baby yet. If you are not founded on the rock. If you are not founded on the rock. <laughs> external temptations. Internal troubles. Family. In-laws. They will come. Loss of, of, of one thing or the other. Loss of job. Every marriage will pass through it. Either you like it or not. Come and tell us, people that have been married for more than 40 years, they will tell you a lot of stories. Battles. Our own, the first time we had a very big encounter was when our first child was three months old. The day the baby was three months old, we lost the roof of our house. It's like, one minute you have a house, in the next two minutes, you are houseless, you are homeless. I was in the bedroom. I just look up one, I just look up like this in the bedroom. I was seeing the heaven. <laughs> it was an open heaven. It was funny. Just like that. By the time I, I struggled to come out, all our clothes were floating in different rooms. All our property. All our property. My mother-in-law was with me. My, my sister was with me. Our baby was three months old. Where they carried the baby, the baby was drenched with water. The baby was drenched. Within two or three days, the baby, the, the, the baby developed pneumonia. We have to run the baby to the hospital. They couldn't find vein. For days, they were trying to, 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 to take care of the baby. It was, and at the same time, we didn't, we didn't have any house. We went to our landlady, Mama. We blew the house. The Mama said, Am I the one that has a wind to carry the house? She said, If you have the money, Go and replace the roof. I will be paying you instrument. Ah, you will use it to use the house. Is that the right grammar? Is that healthy lole? What is the right grammar? <laughs> and he, I said, if we, if we want to use it, use the thing to use the house, we didn't. We don't have the money. We still have a nine month rent. What do we do? She now said, I, and I asked her. I said, where are we going to put our house, our property? She said she had one uh, container in the front of her house. Well, the, house the, 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 the place we rented was around I I Paja. They called the place Abesan Estate. She said we should carry our load and come to Isolo to come and put the load inside the container in the front of her house. When she said that, I knew that we, are, we have entered one chance. So I sat down with my wife. How do we get the house? Number one, we need to look for your house. Number two, we need to look for the money to get the house. And the baby was in the hospital. Storm, wind. But because we were built on solid rock, it didn't move us. We were just thinking, what can we do? What can we do? Even to pay for the hospital bill, where do we get the money? But we stood together. We love each other and we love the Lord. And that was enough. We passed through it. On scratch. God was able to see us through, but it was the foundation. Foundation of prayer. Foundation. Everybody will pass through it. Pray, oh, fast, oh, you will pass through it. But it depends. Okay, look at this church. You see, because it's a church, when wind is blowing the environment, wind will not touch this place. 
Talk to me. Huh? It will touch it. It will touch it. It will shake it. But because the foundation is all right. So wind will come. Everybody will have the, I mean, everybody will have the storm. Storm is not a good thing. Number three. What is the number three? Wind will blow. What is wind? Doctrines. Doctrines. Some pastor will rise up, they will preach another gospel. On marriage. Somebody is preaching now that having said before marriage does not take you to fire. You don't you just need God to be doing it. He said it's not sin. Sin cannot sink you. Don't begin to go. Your sin has been forgiven from the beginning to the end. Even everyone you will, every sin you will commit in future. I pray for that guy. May the Lord save his soul. May the Lord save his soul. Please don't fight, don't fight him. Pray for him, Mo. Pray for him. He needs our help. He needs the help of every one of us. He's our brother. He's our please pray for him. The way for him, that, your, that brother from Uyo, pray for him, Mo. Pray for him, Mo. Did I say Uyo? Uh -huh. please, please don't tell him, Mo. <laughs> so that he will not come for me, oh. <laughs> let, me, let him be facing my papas. <laughs> Somebody shout hallelujah. Genuinely, he need our prayers. He's a fallen brother. Unfortunately, he's our head brother. We need to pray for him. Mm, you will see confusion. You will see confusion. He's even confusing himself. Mm, you will be confusing himself. Pray for him more. At times, uh, uh, there was a time somebody was preaching against that. My wife and I, we rose up to pray. God closed his mouth shut. Abi, where is he today? Say, so God is bastardizing the church. Stop him. At times, we don't keep our mouth shut. For this guy I'm talking about now, we've been praying in the last few days now. God shut up his mouth. You can't be, somebody cannot be bastarding your fathers and every time you keep your mouth shut. Doctrines. People will preach. Somebody came about three, about seven years ago and said there's nothing called courtship. Said if I find her, if I find her in the morning, I can marry her in the evening. We are all children of God, saved by grace. And as at that period, he will fill up the stadium. He was feeling, where, where is he today? We pray him out. May Lord keep his mouth shut. This is heresy. This is pure heresy. There was a time it's feminism. Am I correct? Feminism is another doctrine. It's a wind that will blow. In your office, wind will blow. You saw some friends say, eh? you are talking to your husband. You are saying, yes, sir. Is something wrong with you? The wind of my money is my money. His money is our money. It's a wind. And many of you are falling into it. The wind of don't pay title, don't pay title, don't pay title. We have been paying time from, from secondary school and I will see pay till Jesus come. God own my 100%. In fact, 10% that I'm giving him is a scam. I scam him. Okay, then? I will pay. You may not pay, oh, but the blessing, the preservation that I'm getting, you can't get. It's a wind. It's a wind. It's a wind. When that your brother was preaching about it, hey, 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 everybody was, in fact, he said, he asked, what's the name of his church then? By the time they got him in adultery and they took him to court, he kept his mouth shut. Yes, he's in court now. He, has, he, he went to appeal court, he's lost again. He's in Supreme Court now. Internet will come with a lot of things. Phone, phone, phone is another doctrine. It's coming. Your husband is talking to you on phone. Your wife is talking to you on phone. People are fighting because now you can even you can even padlock, you can even put code on your WhatsApp. So that if you have a boyfriend, the, the shot of that boyfriend, your husband cannot see. Even if you carry your phone. It's a doctrine. Then your family, your family, your friends, your follower, FFF, new environment, your environment, your friends, the office, the technology is coming to test your marriage. Is coming to test your marriage. Many are still coming. Many are still coming. But we remain on the same spot with Christ. Because rock never moves. It stands forever. You see what? All this teaching we go, it, they are coming back to where, we, where they are, where we are. I've been on the, on the platform of righteousness and holiness. We have been preaching the same message since 1999 that we started the same thing. At the time I look at my old notes, I discovered that there's nothing to edit. 
Apart from, maybe we didn't put internet in those days. Maybe we didn't put, we just put new, new, but the same thing. There's nothing to say, oh, I said it, I didn't say it again. Because we were so careful to base it on the rock. The foundation of righteousness. Some people were preaching about a few years ago, again divorce. Now they are preaching for divorce now. But we remain the same. There are some videos that went viral recently. You can divorce. You can do this. They were using Christ God to back, to back it up. But we remain the same. The Bible says, God hates divorce. What does it mean to build on the, on the sand? There are two places that were built. The first one was on the rock. The second one was on the sand. Number one, building on sand represents a marriage that is founded on worldly values. On worldly values. Number two, when you build on money and material things, you saw that guy, the, reason, the only reason why you want to marry him is because he has a nice car. A nice house. At times when you talk to a lady that I want to marry, in those days, you say, I want to marry you. The lady, will be, the lady will not give yes, she will not give no. Suddenly you will see her in your house. She came for investigative study, investigative study wole wole, to come and check your house. And by the time you look at your house, say, oh, uh, seti, present, sir. Um, uh, fridge, present, sir. Which one again? Huh? Microwave oven, washing machine, present, sir. And she will look around and say, okay, because you are having out this, ah, brother, God has been speaking to me before. You are not, it's not God that's speaking to you, it's microwave oven that is speaking to you. And you will live the rest of your life in an oven. But when they get to your house and they discover that you're having one room apartment in Mushi, and you don't have television, you don't have uh, this, you don't have that, God has not spoken to them. God has not spoken to them. And before you know it, they build their marriage on, on the sand. All the single in the house, there's a book that is called 23 Foolish Things. You must, 20 foolish, 23 Foolish Ways. You must never choose a life partner. Is here. Go and get the two books, 23 Foolish Ways, 23 Smart Ways. These two books is one of our best, they are one of our best selling books now. People are buying them. We don't reprinted this one. 23 Foolish Ways. One of the ways you must never choose is by the way of election. Am I correct? Election. When people are, when people are choosing for you. Another way is the way of uh, selection. We are the one that is selecting. We are the, we are the choir member. Which one is short? Which one is fat? Which one is from Nijesha? Which one from Nijebu? Which one is born in October? Because I was born in August. I want to, to my name is Michael. And my name is, uh, uh, my name is Elisha. I want to marry Elena. And so that we can, on the day of our wedding, they will say, Elena marry Elisha. Eli marry Eli. That, that, just that. <laughs> Elijah marry Elena. Just that. Just that. Just that. Ah. That is why you can never see a guy that is working in, a, in, a, in, a, in an oil company and he couldn't find a wife. It's not possible. You, are, you, are, you, you will marry. If you want to marry five within one week, you will see. Why? Just let them say you are working in Mobi. Aha. Or you're working in, a, in Chevron. And I tell you, I told you, you he, may, he may be working in Chevron. What does he mean? He will put you on the shelf and do what? And run. That's why we call it we call it Chevron. We call it Chevron. Don't base your marriage on worldly value. Another one is basing your marriage on sex. This guy looks sexy. He looks sexy. That's the reason why you want to marry. Some people, a boy came to my office. Uh, the pastor said, he should come and see me. And when he saw me, he said, pastor said, something's wrong with this boy. I said, what's wrong with you, brother? He said, I don't know what's wrong with my pastor. I said, what's wrong? He said, I want to marry a guy. And I love the guy very well. The pastor said, I should ask, what does he want in the, in the body of the guy? He said, I said, what do you want? He said, a bomb bomb. It's very big. He said, that's what I want to want. I said, you want to marry bomb bomb? You want to marry toilet, toilet. That's what they use the thing to do. All you men that are looking at bomb bomb and you are colliding with, with trailer. You are driving and you are looking. You are looking only at safety tanky. It's empty tank. It's useless for any other thing than the, than the gaseous and the solid. Those are the two things that it's for and you are dying because of that. Do you know that people are getting married because of bots? B-U-T. 
You can add another T, but the first T, B-U-T, but of your destiny. People are marrying because of that. People are marrying because somebody is tall, dark, huh? she's pack, handsome, chesty, hairy, with baritone voice. You are describing a sheep and see. A sheep and see. That's what you are describing. That does not make a good husband. What, a good, what make a good husband is on the inside. Goalie character. Goalie value. Can he beat me? Can he kick me? Can this one take care of me? Will this one honor God in my life? Does he have a mentor? Does he have a leader? Who can call him to order? Who can call me to order? Somebody came to my office age 27, married to a girl of 25, and this boy is an emperor. I said, Pastor, all the nonsense that my pastor was talking about, don't know, they just dragged me to the place. I'm the head of my family. I said, you are the headache. <laughs> You're not the head of the family. You are the headache. Please, any guy that does not have anybody to control him, don't marry him. He will destroy you. Most women... They will pay for marriage clinic in our office. The husband will never show up. So we now be teaching the wife alone. We call it solo counseling. To cancel them alone. The husband will never come. I'm 27, 26, 32. Nobody can talk to them. Nobody can correct them. Nobody can correct them. Brother, if nobody can correct you, graveyard will soon correct you. It is that serious. You are driving dangerously. It's like when you are driving 120, 120 kilometer per hour. In a car that has no braking system. That should be somebody that will remove pastor from your name and say, Peter, see me tomorrow morning. You say, yes, sir. You say, yes, sir. They remove name. They remove bishop from your name. They remove title from you and say, yes, sir. Everybody should be under control. And women, some of the sisters that I want to marry, I don't want anybody to control me. Ah, most worry will control you. Everybody is under control. Have you ever seen policemen? Even ordinary lights. In early afternoon, they will be you or controlling you. Lights. When it's not like everybody will, everybody will stop. Light that has no mouth. And then when anybody can control me, and you better don't marry. Because your papa was controlling your money. Don't marry. If nobody can control you. I'm brother. I'm the head of my family. Nobody can talk to me. If a woman cannot influence you, you are a bad man. Your wife should be able to influence you. Marriage is C and C and I. Control and what? Influence. Control, influence. Control. I mean control. But somebody will influence the person that wants to control. I have the final say, but my wife should have the semi-final say. That's what we call great marriage. If you don't want anybody to control you, you don't want anybody to influence you, please don't get married. Remain in your, in your papa's house. And your papa has about six bedroom flat, so you don't have any problem. Sleep in one today and sleep in another one tomorrow. Yes, yes. If you go on social media, they don't like all these things to hear it. But we continue to tell you because we are talking to our daughters. If you want to marry, be ready to marry somebody you will submit to. Somebody that will control you. And all men that have this what we call KBAC mentality. African, African men that has what? KBAC. Do you know the meaning of KBAC? KBOC, unquestionable, incontrovertible, undebatable. That does not happen in good marriage. They will ask you. Sweetheart, Mbolewa. Mbolewa. If you are traveling from there to Benin, how many times should a woman call her, the, her husband? Over 20 times. Say, Baba and Baba. Over 20 times. Nibolede, and you must be picking the come till Jesus come. You will be carrying. Hello? Hello? Nibolede, when you redemption come? Redemption come, Nibo. Capacity? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you say, Omega. Oh, you will carry. Yeah. After five minutes. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to ask you. Um, uh, say, uh, is there old dub in the place? Uh, uh, okay, there is old up. Uh, I've had three minutes. Hello, hello. Is the old dub long? You must be carrying. That's, a, that's what makes you a man. That's what, if you don't want that thing, please, you are already married to your mother. Don't marry. Am I talking to somebody? Somebody say, are you monitoring me? Why are you using photo monitoring me? That, where, where? You better thank God that you have a monitor. Yeah, so every wife is a monitoring spirit. Either you believe it or not. Either you want it or not. Either they are born again or born, not born again. You see what? It's good to be monitored. 
When a woman gets to a state where she stops monitoring you, you are finished. If you go in the 6 a.m. and she didn't call you till 9 p.m., Owaleo, Owaleo. In fact, when you are going, she took one of the extra key and gave it to you. <laughs> anytime, <laughs> anytime you go, <laughs> anytime you come back, that is the key. Enter home, and your food will be in the cooler. And when you, when she discovered that you are not eating the dinner, she will cook for her children and self alone, and they will eat because she doesn't want to die for her children. And she begins to have what they call coping mechanism. When a woman is asking you too much question and you don't answer, at a stage she will stop asking. Marriage is very deep, but the wisdom of God can make you to enjoy it. So you must not marry, you must not marry based on, 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 on sex, on ephemeral thing. When you ignore red flags, no red flag, you are not in, you hate canceling. You are married, but you hate canceling. Nobody can cancel you. Nobody can talk to you. Something is wrong with you. You hate learning. You have not read a book this year on marriage. Something is wrong with you. No, no book at all. Some people cannot attend this kind of program. If it's whiskey or, 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 or um, uh, what the name of it, or Davido, or Davido having this kind of program, one million per, per table. People will pay. When it's free frivolities, Activities of unrighteousness, they sponsor it. Activities of unrighteousness. I was in UK about two or three weeks ago. Suddenly before that program, the man called me, said, Pastor BC, it's like we are going to cancel this program. I said, why? He said, only nine couple register for this thing. I laugh. I said, are you expecting 90 people? He said, ah, our church is very big. We have about 300 clinical. They supposed to. I said, do you put money? He said, yeah. And they should go and pay 30, 30 pounds. I said, a whole 30 pounds? When it's not, when it's not frivolity, they won't, they won't pay. I said, don't cancel it. Nine couple is a whole, is a crowd. Nine couple is a what? It's a crowd. God, God is looking for only one Mary to give up back to only one Jesus. Just looking for only one Mary. Doesn't need two Marys. He said, go back there. He said, what should we do now? He said, go back. At the end of the day, he got 24 couples. I said, 24 couples? That's a whole nation. I say, we don't want you to feel bad. When you come around and you see only 24 copies, I say, ah, I'm used to it. I'm used to it. I've gotten to a place that we met only two couples. I taught them as if there are 3,000 couples. Because you must not be punishing people that are there because of people that are not there. Is somebody learning something? Is somebody learning something? What is the result of building on sand? There will be a first of conflict. A lot of them, come and see them in my office Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You will cry when you listen to some people. You will cry. Somebody, the husband beat her and she lost all her teeth. I wrote it in this book. Is there? The husband beat her. All the teeth. By the time she came to my office, she put her teeth, artificial teeth on the, on the table. On the table. And this girl happened to be the daughter of a general overseer. I remember in those days, they told her, why will you marry this? The father said, no, you cannot marry. The mother said, yo, you. she just came one day and said, only I'm pregnant for him. That's all. They said, you are, okay, go to registry. They went there, they signed her up. You, you see what? You see what? When you do anything out of rebellion, you are going to hear the bitterness tomorrow. Anything you do out of rebellion. Parents are talking to you. Mentors are talking to you. Pastors are talking to you. You say, no, leave me alone. It's my life. It's your life, sister. Face it. Face it. So let me round it off at this stage so that we, we now start the practical aspect when we gather together next month. When, what does it mean to build on the rock? Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 25. It simply means to hold on to Jesus, making Christ Jesus the cornerstone. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 20. Shall we read it together? Ephesians 2, 20. Ephesians 2, 20. Ephesians, not, not John. Ephesians 2, 20. 
Aha, shall we read it together? Look at it on the screen. And the Bible says, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets. Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Being the chief cornerstone. This is the summary of everything written in the Bible. We are built upon the foundation of the apostles. Apostles simply mean the New Testament. And the foundation of the prophets. Prophets simply mean the Old Testament. Jesus Christ himself being the what? Shift cornerstone. Rise up on your feet. Jesus Christ himself being the shift cornerstone. This is the end of past one. Or let me just stop it here. Because I know you are going to work tomorrow. Rise up on your feet. I want you to sing a song again. Christ is our cornerstone. On him alone we build. Studio, help me. Christ is our cornerstone. On him alone we build. We see true saint alone. The court of heaven are filled. On his great law of our hope we place. Of present grace and joy above. Keyboardist, are you helping me? Christ is our cornerstone. On him alone we build. Christ is a cornerstone. On him alone we build. With the true center alone, the courts of heaven are filled. On His great love, our hope for present grace and joy. The grace which we implore And may the grace once given Be with us evermore Until the day when all the blessings Let's go back to verse stanza one. Christ is a cornerstone. On him alone we build. On him alone we build. We did through Saint alone. The cause of heaven have been. Lord, our we pray, our praise and grace and joy On whom will you build? You are not saying it very well. On whom will you build? Say it very well on Christ Jesus. You know, when you are standing on the rock of ages, you stand forever. There is a nation called the Nation of Israel. They are surrounded by 22 enemies, Arab world. They have about 11 million in population. The whole nation. It's not up to Lagos. And the whole Arab nation of 22 nations cannot handle them. Iran alone is about 180 million. Syria. Lebanon by the north. Syria by the south. By the east is Syria. And by the south, south is Palestine. Surrounded truly by the enemy. But they are built 
on God. If you are if you're on the news today, you will see that they were bombarded with rockets. This money. In October, 1,200 were killed. This morning, they announced that they have killed the enemy 45,000 in return. 45,000 in return. They are the most mysterious nation across the globe. Because they are the nation of the Lord. You can't understand them. You can't conquer them. If you can just surrender your life to God, you are the present Israel. He will care for you. Um, I told you, eh? um, even to your exam. Even to your exam. I remember on campus, I will be, I will be reading something I don't understand. I will say, I don't understand. He will say, cram it. Cram it. Say, he will come out just like that. Ori Joe from Olodumare. And it will be like that. He cares. He's so more care. Several years ago, I was somewhere in Nokota. And I, there was a bush there. And I entered into the bush to wee. Immediately, I went to wee. He said, no, don't wee in the place. I was like, who was talking to me? He said, I'm the one, your daddy. Don't wee in the place. He said, 17, can you, can you, in that place, they bury people alive on that spot. If you wee on the place, you'll be part of their cause. Ah. In fact, I couldn't wee for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's how caring he is. I was sleeping in the house in, in our hometown. We have this decking. In the middle of the night, in, I was sleeping in the afternoon. So it's grand to the night. I was sleeping and the cold was coming. Somebody just tapped me. Wake up. Otutu mamwe. Wake up. Otutu mamwe. Then I, I woke up to see who was talking to me. Then I discovered truly that it was cold. Then I entered into the... It was almost 12 midnight. Everybody was sleeping. He was the one that came and sent his angel. Every detail of your life, he cares. Every detail. I used to tell all the story. Off I went to... I was on campus in the bush. The place I was living was very far. I wanted to go to the to, 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 to program in town. But it was late. And we are going to pass through cemetery, burial ground. So we are always running. Everybody will be afraid. So I said, ah, this is to one. I cannot go alone. All those court guys, everything. Suddenly, I hear people going in their multitude. They were going to town. We, 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 we. I said, ah, let me. I quickly carry my shirt. I didn't even wear. I carry my Bible. Then I began to see them afar. The more I run, the more I didn't meet them. The more I run, the more I didn't meet them. The more I run, the more... But I saw them. But immediately I got to town where it is safe. I didn't see nobody again. Angel came to escort me to town. That's him. When you dwell outside righteousness, you are in joining your future. You are in joining your future. That's why you need to surrender your life to Christ. Surrender. I want you to enjoy alone. That's a kikere. I wanted to marry. I saw a girl. I love this girl. I want this girl. God said, oh, lay fair. He saw his head like that. Nikki saw me me. Not my child. I said, why? He said, no, be lady. Go and ask her. I went there. Go don't lay some man. And she began to cry. Thank God I didn't marry that girl. Thank God. She ended up marrying a pastor and scattered the destiny of that pastor. Thank God. When you hold on to Christ, he begins to, it's not a guide. I mean, it's not a guard. It's a guide. You know what it means? A guard will be at the back. A guide will hold your hand. Be a power for you. It will hold your hand. That is it. That's, at times, I want to do something. If ordinary looking for your toothpaste in the house, Oluwa, where do this toothpaste? Nimbolowa, 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 Nimbolowa. And he will just order your step. And he's sibe, eh? That's how beautiful he is. Ah, ah, start seeing God as a God. Start seeing him as your father. Our daughter was very young, very like a baby, around four, five years. Suddenly, in the middle of the land, she shouted, Daddy! See, today I can't say how I jump into that room. What's her problem? She woke up and there was no light in the room. No, I don't know whether it has happened to you before. That you, you will not know the way, the, the, the way to the, 
to the, I don't know what is, has it happened to you before? That you were trying to, <laughs> to that's what happened to that girl. She shouted, but I jump up, half naked. Can you imagine if you now shout to your daddy? Say, daddy, my father. Can you shout it now? You say, my daddy, remember me and help me. Shall we pray in the name of Jesus? Let them bring, let them bring the new baby out now. Daddy, help me, help me, help me, help me. I need your help. In Jesus' name we pray. Close your eyes. You want to surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Place your hand upon your chest. Wherever you want to, where, wherever you are, I want to pray for you. You want to give your life to Christ. You want to be enjoying Christ as I'm enjoying him. Place your right hand upon your chest and say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you today. I want you to be my guide for the rest of my life. I want to follow you. I hereby dedicate myself to you, to follow you for the rest of my life, to follow you, whatever you wherever you go to. I love you, Daddy. I know you love me first. I hereby drop every sin and civil habit in my life. I crave for your help. Help me, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for your help. It's enough for me. My names are written in the book of life in Jesus' mighty name. Come out and let me pray for you now.